Hey everybody, welcome to Vinyasa Restore, 45 minutes of Vinyasa Flow, 30 minutes of restorative postures. Our class is going to be a little bit different today. I'm going to guide us through a flow or practice with no chaturangas. So no chaturangas today. And so if you have wrist issues or shoulder issues, this is going to be your practice. Um, if you love chaturangas, feel free to add them in whenever you wish. Um, but I think it's just a nice variation to do flows that don't include chaturanga. So we're going to do that. And um, our restorative is going to be just a little bit different as well. We're going to do more of some subtle body practices and not necessarily traditional restorative postures. So stay tuned for that. Do have some props handy, blanket, pillow thing, blocks, all the good stuff. Meet me on your mat, on your back. I'll hit play on our music, and just a word, I am struggling with a little bit of a cough, so I'm going to try my best not to break out in the cough during our practice tonight. <clears throat> Lie on your back and have your legs long or your knees bent. Be flat on the floor. Drift your knees towards the center of your mat. If you have your knees bent, hands along the sides. Walk your shoulders away from your face. We spend a lot of time with our shoulders being crowded up by our ears. So when you move, really make the effort to drop the shoulders down. Bring your attention into your breath. Long, deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, side out your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, side out your mouth. Again, inhale. And exhale. Now find an even and natural rhythm. At the beginning of each and every practice, I invite you to connect a little deeper with yourself. Developing more awareness between you and you. Start with your physical body. See where you are at in space physically. And notice what emotions are you holding right now? And where is your mind? Can you anchor into the space? Can you consciously set everything else aside? There's always more to do. Come here, really join me mentally as well as physically on your mat. begin with our flow inhale take everything long legs go long arms overhead full body stretch exhale draw your knees into your chest 
do that a few times. Inhale, full body stretch. Exhale, return. Once more, both legs. Full body stretch, inhale. Exhale, come back. Inhale again, full body stretch. This time, exhale, just the right knee. Fold into your chest. You can grab your chin or your hamstring. A little gentle pull. And then sweep your right knee off to the side. You're almost coming into a little bit of a tree pose. Feel that opening. Breath in. Exhale, draw your knee back to center. Inhale, send the right leg long. We're going to do that again, staying on the right side. Exhale, right knee comes in. Open it up to the right. Draw it back to center. Send everything long. Breath in. Exhale, just the right knee. Hug. Sweep it off to the side. Come back to center. Full body stretch. Exhale, left knee draws into your chest. And then sweep your left knee off to the left. Back to center. Full body stretch. Exhale, left knee to chest. Open it up to the side. Return, knee to chest. Inhale it long. Once more, our left knee comes in. Sweep the left knee off to the side. Back to center. Everything long. Breath in. Exhale, bend your knees. Plant your feet, return your hands along the sides of your body. Your heels are gravitating towards your glutes. You might be able to just kind of brush them with your fingertips. Breath in, exhale, rolling up into bridge. Vertebrae by vertebrae, focal point stays at the ceiling. Once you hit the top of your bridge, you're gonna roll back down. Slow with the breath, inhale, exhale, roll up. Inhale, roll down. Roll up. And roll down, moving at your own pace. You can use this as a little bit of a spinal warm up. Really think about pressing your low back into the floor. And then when you roll down, you come down upper back, middle, lower, and tailbone. Next one, hold your bridge, hold your bridge, breath in, exhale, sink your hips just a little bit, inhale, lift them up, sink and lift, sink and lift, sink and lift, a little bit more, sink, lift, sink, lift, last one, lift up, breath in, Exhale, rolling down, peel yourself to the mat. Widen your feet, feet are as wide as your mat. On your exhale, drop your knees over to the right. Your feet roll on the edges. This is a little opener for the hip flexor. Notice if your shoulders have crowded up towards your ears, make some space, breath in. Exhale, drift your knees over to the left. Then gently flow right to left. Mm -hmm. 
breath is in through your nose, out through your nose, even and balanced. Let's flow once more. Both sides. Come back to center. Breath in. Exhale, hug your knees, hands on your kneecaps. Circle the legs together. Either direction, because we'll do both. And then reverse. Back to center, hands on shins or hamstrings. We're gonna rock and roll all the way up to seated. Cross your ankles. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, both hands high. Exhale, twist to the left. Look over your shoulder. Pause. Square your hips. So your left hip is one going to want to go with your left arm. Take your left hip, reach it forward instead. So that changes the twist just a little bit. So it's not so much coming out of your low back and your hips, but coming out of your middle back. Inhale, hands high, reach. Exhale, twist to the right. Now, I always like to put my back hand on fingertips, or a block would work well too, to help you sit up tall. No rounding, no slouching. We do enough of that, right? Take your right hip, reach it forward. Inhale, hands high, reach. Exhale, soften your elbows. Inhale, right elbow over left. Cows face arms, any variation. So you can go shoulders, back of hand, or palm to palm. Whatever you're choosing, bring that action piece in. So if you got your shoulders, gently pull, tuck your chin. If you're going back of hand to back of hand, press, lift your fingertips, tuck your chin. If you've got palm to palm, squeeze, lift, and tuck. Breath in, <clears throat> exhale, release your hands down around and back up. Soften your elbows, left elbow crosses over right eagle arms. You choose, pull, press, squeeze, lift, and tuck. Still sitting up really tall. Take your rib cage and lift it up off of your diaphragm or your belly. Breath in, and breath out. Inhale, both hands high. Exhale, left hand down, right hand across. And then gently flow side to side. Creating space between your ribs. So creating space between your ribs helps you take a fuller, deeper, more expansive breath. Our breath is the tool, the vehicle that invites prana or energy into our bodies. Prana is life force energy. It is the thing that is fueling all life. And so we breathe deep and full to invite prana. Inhale, both hands high. 
Exhale, hands come to the heart. Uncross your legs, bring the soles of your feet together to touch for bound angle pose. Hands can come, shins, ankles, feet, whatever you prefer. Utilize the strap as needed. Inhale, lift your heart space. Exhale, melt yourself down. Walking back up, inhale, lift, widen your collarbones. Exhale, melt. Inhale, lift. Exhale, melt. Then inhale. And exhale. Hold here. Breathe. Breath in, exhale, release. You're gonna shift into Malasana. You can roll forward, spread your feet, externally rotate. So heels and toes out, option to grab a block always and put it underneath you as a support. Malasana, find some movement. Settle in, hands to heart, triceps gently engage with your inner thighs, inner thighs push back. Now notice, there might be a tendency to kind of like let your chin lift up and you go into some neck extension. Find length instead, chin lock, chin to your throat, kind of your head reaching super tall. Breath in. Mm, breath out. One more inhale. Exhale forward fold. Hands to mat. Lift your hips. You'll toe your feet either together or hips width apart. Soften your knees. Allow your upper body to melt and sink down. Nod your head, yes. Nod your head no. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands to your shins, drop your shoulders. Down along your back, scoop your belly. Exhale, forward fold. Let's do that a few times. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. You can have your knees as soft as they need to be. Your hands can be on blocks or your hands can stay on the mat too. Inhale, half lift. As long as you're striving for that nice flat back. Forward fold. Once more, halfway lift. Mm, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. The reverse dive coming up, scoop your belly, hands to your heart. We're gonna flow from forward fold to mountain a few times. Inhale, mountain, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, strong core, chin slightly drawn towards your throat, find that neck lock. Mountain, reverse dive, back up. Hands to heart. Inhale, mountain. Forward fold. Mountain. Hands to heart. Once more, mountain reach up. Forward fold. Mountain reach up. Hands to heart. Mountain pose, weight load your left leg. Rising mountain, right knee. And then we're gonna move into rising tree. So rising tree, your right hand's gonna grab your shin or your hamstring, or you could use a strap. Open your right knee out to the side, extend your left arm. Extend your left arm, palm is facing away. 
breath in, breath out. You can rotate your ankle here, find some movement. Breath in, exhale, rising mountain, right knee sweeps to the front, both hands high, crescent pose. Slowly send your right foot back, crescent pose. Front knee, lining with ankle, back leg strong. See if you can bring your heel over your toe. There's nothing else like wrong with that. See what happens, a little bit more engaged. And you bring your heel over your toe. Breath in. Exhale, twisting crescent, twisting to the left. See if you can look over your left hand. And if not, take a focal point looking at the right hand. Hug your inner thighs towards the midline of your body. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, baby back bend. Soften your elbow, lift your heart space. Option to drift the head, the focal point back, or option to look forward. Keep dropping your shoulders. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, rising mountain, rising tree. Come back, grab your shin, extend your left arm parallel to the floor. Rising mountain, mountain hands to your heart. Pause, rest in awareness. How does one side feel? How does the other side feel? Weight load your right leg. Inhale, rising mountain. Left knee parallel to hip. Lock into your drifty. Feel strong and rooted first. Exhale, rising tree. Left hand comes to the outside of your shin and drop your right arm straight out. Remember, you have got choice in how you grab your leg. Grab shin, hamstring. You could even hook your peace fingers on your big toe or use a strap. Inhale, rising mountain. Exhale, crescent pose. You control crescent pose. Anchor in, soften your shoulders. Don't plug them down. Scoop your belly, close the gap the front of your rib cage. Breath in, exhale, twisting crescent, twisting to the right. So I'm in a pretty high twisting crescent. If you wanna be deep, you can. So if you want your crescent pose to be like <clears throat> really in there, really nice and deep, go for it. So if you want that additional challenge piece, that's a way you can make it more challenging for yourself. And now look over your right hand. See what's back there. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, rising mountain. Rising tree. Rising mountain. Mountain, hands come to your heart. Again, pause, take that yoga pause.
When you're ready, weight load your left leg again. Inhale, rising mountain. Exhale, warrior two. Float your right foot back. There's points for being slow in that float. Find your heel to arch alignment. Extend your arms. Bring your shoulders over your hips. Scoop your belly. Notice if your front knee wants to collapse in. Can you open it up even more? Breath in and breath out. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg. Reach your left hand back, 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 back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Breath in. Exhale, right angle. Forearm to thigh. Keep your right hand up and then over. Soften your shoulder. So notice that shoulder wants to creep up. Plug it down. Plug it down towards your hip. Rotate open. Really press into your right foot. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Come back. Warrior two. Rising mountain. Shift your weight. Step up. Rising mountain. Woo. Rising mountain. Tree. So you're going into tree now. Take your right foot either into your thigh, calf, or a little toe on the floor. You choose. Throw your branches. Breath in. Exhale. Soften your elbows. Inhale. Right elbow over left. Eagle in the tree. Eagle in the tree. Eagle in the palm tree over here. Find that action piece with your eagle. Pull, press, squeeze, tuck and lift. Breath in. Exhale, rising mountain. Mountain. And gently switch sides. Weight load, right leg. Inhale, rising mountain, left knee. Exhale, warrior two. Float your left foot back. Find your heel to arch alignment. Front knee nice and open, shoulders over hips. So I love to do this warrior two on the go, as do many people. Bring your shoulders back. Ground into your feet. Your feet are strong. I have to be grabbing at the mat. Inhale, reverse triangle, right hand reach back. Now when you reach, notice your top shoulder again. Notice your right shoulder. It's crowding your ear. Drop it down. Breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse triangle. Warrior two. Right angle pose. Forearm to thigh, left hand up, and then over, plug your left shoulder down. Breath in, breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Rising mountain, shift your weight, rising mountain. Tree, left foot comes to thigh, calf or big toe. You're avoiding pressing into the side of the knee joint. Knees get beat up enough. We don't have to press into them. Breath in. Exhale, soften elbows. Inhale, left elbow crossing over right. Eagle arms, you choose. In your eagle, 
for in your eagle with the tree. Take your rib cage, lift it up. See if you can, can you stand a little bit taller? Can you take your rib cage off your diaphragm? Like you have length in your core. Inhale, rising mountain. Mountain, hands the heart. Again, pause. Pause to notice. When you're ready, grab your blocks. Bring them the tall way to the top of your mat. Just have them handy. Weight load your left leg. Inhale, rising mountain. Exhale, warrior one. So float your right foot back at a slight angle. Feel free to take a wider stance here. So we're gonna go into pyramid. And if you wanted, you could even have both feet like train tracks. So both feet facing, all 10 toes facing the short end of your mat, your choice. Hands high, straighten your front leg, breath in. Exhale, halfway pyramid. So you're gonna hinge at your hips. Halfway pyramid, stop here. Again, plug your shoulders back. And if that feels like just inaccessible, sweep your arms back here. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, exhale, melting pyramid. Soften into your front knee. Let the crown of your head drop down. Inhale, hands to block. Exhale, warrior three, step up. Square your hips, squeeze your thigh, flex your foot, draw your chin into your throat. Breath in, breath out. We're gonna do a fun little flow of rising mountain to warrior three. Breath in, exhale, rising mountain. Rising mountain, stick with me. Exhale, warrior three float it back find your form hands are really light on your blocks press away scoop your belly rising mountain return rising mountain warrior three let's do it once more once more rising mountain warrior three hold that warrior three Breath in, exhale, set your right foot down, melting pyramid again, soften. Breath in, exhale forward, fold, step up. Halfway lift, forward fold mountain hands to heart inhale rising mountain left knee floats up exhale warrior one set your left foot back now you can go that left foot at a slight angle or legs like train tracks and widen your stance so start with your knee bend inhale straighten exhale halfway pyramid hinge pause square your hips so square your hips Right hip pulls back, left hip turns down. Breath in, soften your shoulders. Exhale, melting pyramid. Inhale, hands to block. Exhale, warrior three, step up. Square your hips, squeeze your thigh, pull your belly. Now, if you want more challenge, release your hands off your blocks. And then we're gonna flow. Rising mountain to warrior three. Inhale, rising mountain. Isn't it funner with some more sound effects? Warrior three, put it back. I have a 
sound effect for a warrior three. Just rising mountain. We're like flow. We're like going up the elevator. Rising mountain. Come back. Warrior three. Once more, rising mountain. Warrior three. Hold your warrior three. Breath in, exhale, melting pyramid. Drop your left foot, soften your front knee, melt it down, melt it down. Breath in, go forward, fold up of your mat. If we lift, forward fold, mountain all the way up, hands to heart, inhale, mountain reach up, forward fold, halfway lift, table. Come down onto your hands and knees. Breath in. Exhale, down dog. Check your toes, three, your hips high. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to forehead. We're gonna flow this. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to forehead. Cat through your back. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to forehead, or as close as you're gonna get. Once more, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to forehead and hold. Hold it here for four, three, two, one. Right leg high. Exhale, single leg pigeon. Right knee to right hand. Keep your foot across your mat or take a supine variation as needed. Breath in. Widen your collarbones, drop your shoulders. Feel the weight from left to right. Are you sagged off to one side? Can you even it out? Remember, you can always throw a little pillow or block underneath your right glute. Breath in, exhale, melt your pyramid. So have your hands on fingertips, melt your pyramid. Hands are wide, fingertips, melt. Inhale, come back up, lift your pigeon. Exhale, melt it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Once more, inhale, lift. Hands back on your mat. Exhale, three-legged dog. Tuck your toes. Take your right leg high. Three-legged dog. Down dog. Right foot back to mat. Reset yourself. Continue to press into the tops of your palms. Take the weight out of your wrist. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to forehead. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to forehead. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to forehead. Once more, inhale. Exhale, knee to forehead and hold. Hold here. Four, three, two, one. Left leg high. Exhale, single leg pigeon. Left knee to left hand. Keep your foot across. Check out your back leg. Hip, knee, ankle, toe. Alignment. Finding balance left to right. Take your hands wide. Now, if you need to, you can always put your hands on blocks. So maybe this feels more accessible. Do that. Breath in, exhale, melt your pigeon. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Once more, inhale, and exhale. Come back. Three-legged dog. Ground your hands. Send your left leg high. 
three-legged dog. Down dog. Breath in. Exhale, walk your hands to your feet, back of your mat. Forward fold. You know what? I want to grab a block. Grab a block. Bring it in between your thighs. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair. Plug your shoulders down. Option. You can go hands to the heart or you can cactus your arms. So in your chair, your feet, ground. Grab at the mat. Squeeze your block. Pull your belly in and up. Keep your chest open. Chin draws into your throat. Find that length. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Go ahead, flat that block out. Inhale, rising mountain. Right knee flows up with your hands. Rising mountain, single leg chair, right ankle on top of thigh, sit down. Top foot is flexed. Left foot is grounded. Options, you can kind of play around with this a little bit. You can take your hands and gently press into the meat of your thigh, angling your right knee towards the floor. Just do not press into your knee joint. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, rising mountain, come back. Exhale, chair. Plug your shoulders or choose your cactus. Breath in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising mountain, left knee. Exhale, single leg chair. Left ankle on thigh, sit down. Now what to do if single leg chair does not jive with your knees? You can choose tree pose as a variation. Inhale, rising mountain. Exhale, chair. Breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Do that once more. Inhale, rising mountain. Right knee floats up. Exhale, single leg chair. Inhale, rising mountain. Exhale, chair. Breath in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rising mountain, left knee floats up. Exhale, single leg chair. Inhale, rising mountain. Exhale, chair. Breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, lower down. Oh, that was so good, we're gonna do it once more. Inhale, rising mountain, right knee. Exhale, single leg chair. Inhale, rising mountain. Exhale, chair. Breath in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising mountain, left knee. Exhale, single leg chair. Inhale, rising mountain. Exhale, chair. Breath in. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, hands to your heart. Pause. Yoga pause. Notice yourself.
Inhale, mountain, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, walk out. Plank. Knees. Lower down. Hands along the sides of your body. Breath in. Exhale, locust pose. Lift up. Lower down. Lift up. Really drop your shoulders. Drop your shoulders. Like your fingertips are reaching for your heels. Lower down. Lift up. Lower down. Once more, lift up. Lower down. Then come into either a sphinx or a cobra as a little bit more of a resting space. So sphinx, elbows are under your shoulders, palms are down. Press the floor away, drop your shoulders. I can't say it enough, drop your shoulders. Breath in, exhale, lower down, downward facing dog. Walk your hands and your feet together, forward fold, middle of your mat. Breath in, exhale, roll up, roll up. So our restorative is going to be just a little bit different tonight. We're going to do, or today, if you're catching the recording, we're going to start with some rebounding. So rebounding is that kind of bouncing of the body. And your arms are like noodles. And you want to let everything just be like as soft as it can be. Widen your stance. Make sure you at least hips width apart. So what does this do? This is good for your fascial system rehydrating your fascial system. Your fascial system is this connective tissue webbing that is flowing through like every part of your body. There is nothing that it's not intertwined with in some way. It's part of our restoration. We're going to knock on the door, widen your stance even more, soft knees, and gently sway side to side. And your arms are like noodles, and they're going to just kind of gently strike your own body. <clears throat> You notice anything funky in your low back or hips keep your hips more stationary so they're kind of like your hips are like locked and then that twist coming from the middle space the thoracic spine breath in Mm, breath out, release that. Now I shake your hand. Shake your hand. Shake them high, shake them low. Imagine this as like a tension reliever. So if you're at work and 
maybe it's really stressful or you're at home and it's really stressful and you just need to like shake it off. You're like, shake it off, shake it off. You're like energetically and physically shaking it off. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Now, if you notice, animals in the wild do this anytime they've, um, they've encountered something traumatic or like an event, like an, another animal is trying to eat them. Um, if they escape and walk away, you'll see them like shake, like they'll shake because their body is geared up for that, that fight or flight or freeze. And they've got all those hormones, all that adrenaline pumping, and then they need to dispel it. You need to dispel it. And so that happens to us too. And it happens in major ways and it happens in acute ways where there's like these small, small buildup of like little stressors or there's like big stressors on top of big stressors on top of big stressors, like the last two years. So we need to just like shake, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. A little bit more. Another 15 seconds of this. And release. Pause. Breath in, exhale, open your eyes, slowly make your way onto your back. Feel free to grab um, a pillow if you wish. We're gonna move into what is called progressive muscle relaxation. I'm gonna cue you to a specific part of your body and you're going to engage the muscles of that part of your body while you hold your breath. And then when I um, offer you the exhale, you're going to soften the muscles and let it go and breathe out your mouth. And we're going to start below, we're going to start with the feet, and we'll work our way up top. So we're going to start with the feet. So on your inhale, engage your feet. So you can scrunch up your toes, you can flex your feet, you can point your feet, whatever like does the most for you. So hold that, squeeze, 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 just your feet, just your feet. I know you're gonna get other muscles in there too, that's okay. Squeeze your feet, hold, 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 and let it go. When you let it go, really blow it out, let yourself melt into the floor. Now moving into your calves. So go ahead and engage your calf muscles. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Remember you're holding your breath with this as well. Now, if you have any heart conditions, um, I don't advise holding your breath. Or if you're pregnant. And go ahead, release, let it go. Now move up, engage your, your thighs, your quads, your hamstrings. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. A little more and let it go. Oh, that feels good already. Now your glutes, your butt cheeks. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. squeeze. And let it go. Now engage your abdominal muscles. Engage as if somebody was going to hit you right in your bread box. So go ahead, squeeze your abdominal muscles. Engage, hold your breath unless you're contra contraindicated. And release, let that go. Let's come up to our upper back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. So squeeze your shoulder blades together. Try not to let them crowd up by your ears too much. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release. Now let's take the shoulders up to your ears. 
squeeze. So we're going to do everything until you not to do squeeze, except this time we're trying to actively wring out any tension that you're holding. So squeeze, 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 squeeze. and release. Do your biceps, engage your biceps. Inhale, engage, biceps, triceps. What are you gonna do? Maybe you wanna make kind of a muscle. Squeeze, 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 and release. Now let's do the forearms and the hands together. So forearms and hands, squeeze, make a fist, or spread your fingers wide. Hold that, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And release. Now your face, <clears throat> excuse me, now your face. So you're gonna clench your jaw, furrow your brow. Go ahead, do that. And release. Now we're gonna do everything three times. So we're gonna engage everything head to toe. Inhale, engage, hold it, exhale, release it, let it go. We'll do that three times when you're ready. Inhale, engage, squeeze. Exhale, release. Two more times, inhale, squeeze. And release. Once more, make sure you're hitting it all. Feet, calves, thighs, glutes, abdominals, shoulders, upper back, face, squeeze, hands, a little more, a little more, a little more. And exhale. Let that go. Feel yourself sink into your mat. <clears throat> On your next inhale, you're gonna slowly open your left hand and flex your right foot. So it'll look like this. Inhale, open your left hand, flex your right foot. Exhale, close your left hand and soften your right foot. Or you can point if you want. So either point or just soften. We'll do that for a count of, let's do four. So. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, open, four, three, two, one. Exhale, close, four, three, two, one. Inhale, open, four, three, two, one. Exhale, close, four, three, two. Inhale, open, four, three, two, one. Exhale, close, four, three, two, one. One more on this side. Inhale, open, four, three, two, one. Close, four, three, two, one. Soften, take a moment to pause. And then we'll switch. We'll open the right hand and flex the left foot. And then on the exhale, close the right hand, soften the left foot. <clears throat> Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, 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 four, three, two, one. Exhale,
three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Last round. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Soften. That is a meditative <clears throat> practice, as well as a practice that helps create the connection, strengthen the connection between the left and right side of the brain. Breath in, exhale, bend your knees. We'll end with a twist and then Shavasana. Lift your hips, lift them to the right, set them down, hug your knees. And twist your lower body to the left. The option to prop yourself with pillows. Arms can extend or cactus.
expand. Exhale, slowly return to center. Gently lift your hips, lift them to the left. Hug your knees, twist your lower body to the right. Breath in, exhale, come back. Make your way to Javasana.
If you would like a longer shavasana, please stay here. If you are ready to move on, gently make your way into either side. Breath in, exhale to rise, seated, rub your palms together. I'm going to feel this practice in by bringing your hands over your closed eyes, feel your practice. hands together at your heart and we'll end with one chant of om breath in exhale to chant om thank you so much for joining me